Alright guys, uh, I don't know how well you can see this, but right on this uh, little tree, there's a rough green snake. I'm going to see if I can get him real quick. Right, hold on. Alright. Hold on. Sorry guys. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, well, this is actually pretty cool because uh, I haven't seen a snake in uh, my backyard and uh, probably since uh, two years ago. And uh, so it's actually pretty cool. This is a, a northern rough green snake or Ophihydra. Ophahydres estivus estivus. It's really complicated. But uh, a very distinctive snake. There's no other snake in North Carolina that is pure, uh, solid green and uh, yellow. So uh, it's a very distinctive snake. Uh, these are probably the most graceful snakes we have. Um, they spend most of their time up in uh, low shrubs, overhanging uh, ditches and stuff. And uh, they also like... Uh, be, they're also found on borders of fields, um, on the edges of fields where there's a nice thick forest. So, uh, but I find I mainly find them just uh, cruising on my bike. So, but yeah, these are probably the most beautiful little snakes we have around here. I mean, there's others, but these are really beautiful snakes. And uh, you can see just really pointed little head, big diurnal shaped eyes. Um, these guys are mainly active during the day, although I have seen them. Uh, crossing roads during the late evening or early evening um, these guys eat mainly insects uh, crickets uh, caterpillars and other insects but uh, I believe they may feed on tree frogs every once in a while since they are found in shrubs and sometimes trees these guys aren't as arboreal as most people say um, I see most of mine on the ground but then again they're so camouflaged you'll never really see them until uh, they're on the road or something but I was actually pretty lucky to actually see one in a tree because really all I was doing was uh, clearing a little area to put in a turtle pin and uh, I saw him just on a little tree it's actually already cleared out um, but I'm just putting some stuff in but uh, yeah they get the name rough green snake because their scales are keeled and uh, this just, just uh, aids in breaking up the pattern and uh, but uh, yeah, just really beautiful snakes. Uh, they're one of my favorites because uh, these are actually the first species of snake I ever caught when I first started catching snakes. Most people catch garter snakes, but I started catching these first. But uh, as a, these guys are completely harmless, I've never had one bite me, but uh, they will gape their mouth on occasion, um, showing the black lining of their mouth, almost like a black mamba, except nowhere near as deadly. These guys are completely harmless. You can see they got that slender body, and uh, they can reach out straight out like that. You see, most snakes will droop down, but these guys have a very uh, thin body, and uh, it's in cross section. It'll look like a loaf of bread, which is actually an arboreal shaped body for a snake. And you can see they have extremely long tails. It starts right there, goes all the way down, and uh, even though it has a long tail. This might be a female because females are a little larger than males. And uh, but this isn't an average adult size. They do get a little bigger. They're really pretty snakes. When you come up on these guys, they actually will let, sit motionless until they're pretty sure that you've spotted them, and then they'll take off. And uh, what's cool is that when they're on the ground, they'll shake their head side to side, which is just to mimic the wind blowing. So uh, it pretty much is built for camouflage.